really need some roads around here. Even the wandering traders are confused. Nobody worry, I got it. That's better. Hello everyone, welcome to Empire's SMP. It's so good to see you. I'm really liking this mud block to be honest. I don't quite have enough cobble deep slate to finish the road, but I've got it going up towards the bridge over here. Oh, and we could mix a little bit more of this mud in. It kind of makes a squishing sound below your feet, but if you can get used to that, then it's kind of nice for a road. You just gotta get past the squish, you know? It's fine and it's totally fine. All in all, I'm really loving how our empire is coming together. The roads could still use a little bit of work, but in general, things are pretty good. We've got a tavern, we've got a greenhouse, we've got a lighthouse, we've got a starter house, and we've got a barn! Plus some shacks for the farmers. Now, if you'd ask me, I'd call that pretty successful for an episode 8. There's one problem, though. This is my treasure chest, and I may have spent all of my diamonds on my current armor. Now don't get me wrong, it's fantastic, but I, I need more diamonds. I'm a princess. I'm literally the monarch of dawn. I, I can't be seen as poor. So I think today I'm gonna start us off with a nice relaxing mining session. After all, I haven't really done any strip mining yet and I feel like that would be really good to get blocks for my kingdom. I'll just start digging in right here and build a little staircase that we can mine from in the future. To be honest, I've been really craving a mining session. You may have been able to hear it in my voice in the last couple episodes, but I was sick for a little while, so it's nice to be able to just get back into work, get back into the grind, and really get things going. And I feel like kicking it off with a, ooh, a mining session. Well, don't mind if I do. I think I know a certain somebody who would like that. And we need the smart people dust too. Yep, that'll be good. Here we are, we're breaking into the deep slate layer. So now diamonds should be possible. Ooh, an iron. Lapis, don't mind if I do. I need that for enchanting. I totally forgot to torch the way. Nothing spawned. All good, no worries, I got it. Here we go, our first diamonds of the trip. Perfect. I am using my fortune pickaxe on them and we got Five. Okay, that's not the best rate, but I'm sure our luck will improve. We continue downwards. Okay, the staircase is long, but this is level negative 54, so I think I'm just gonna strip mine here for a little while and just kinda see if we can get anything. I already hear a lot of spiders. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <gasps> oh, what the heck? feeling this is where the spider noises are coming from. Um, hello. <laughs> Sorry to uh, intrude. Uh, awkward. Impaling. Okay, I don't really think I need that, but that's kind of cool. The string is good. Spider spawner is cool, but it's no diamonds, so we continue on. Not gonna lie, been down here for like 15 minutes now. Not a diamond in sight. Lots of redstone, but not a single diamond. Sun is not providing us with very much luck down here. <gasps> Diamonds! Yes! Okay, I'm glad I checked for lava. Oh, it looks like a group of six as well. This is lovely. Oh, we're up to 18 diamonds now. This is perfect. Let's just check the lava, make sure there's no extras. Okay, you know what? I think I'm good. Well, 18 diamonds definitely seems good enough for me. This is a lovely full inventory of stuff. <laughs> Let's head back to the surface. I missed the sun. Huh, that's better. Warm to the sun. The good thing about that little mining session is that we also got a whole bunch more cobble deeply, which I was getting a little low on. So it's time for me to get back to work on these roads. Now, I would love to use the materials that we got today to actually make a little like town center down here. Somewhere between these two buildings, we'll have a bunch of other buildings dotted all around here, and this will be like the busiest area in Dawn. Ooh, I feel like a fountain right here in the center of the road would be absolutely perfect. I just have to think of a design, which, uh, that's kind of hard when it comes to fountains. You want the water to flow just right, and it needs to be just the right height and amount of epicness. We're gonna need some stairs and slabs. I got to work building a fountain while talking to Mythical Sausage about our trip that we're taking. If you don't know, this video is pre-recorded because a bunch of us are in Seattle right now. 
Right, I think I'm pretty happy with how this road design is going. If we want to go any further, I think we're going to need to plop a couple more buildings around so I can kind of see how that looks. Oh, hello. <laughs> Look, it's another wandering trader. What do you have? Oh, crafting table, no way. Honey, you have honey. Oh, you're officially my favorite trader that we've had. Okay, I definitely want the crafting table and the honey and also a chest one. This is perfect. I've got mini honey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so cute. Right, so now that our road and town center are looking a little bit more road and town center like, we have a new mission in mind. Today, while I was mining, we stumbled upon a spider spawner, and we were able to get string from that. String happens to go extremely well with our export of honeycomb. It's actually the main reason that I export honeycomb. You see, people use the honeycomb with the string to make candles. Only problem is, I'm an expert in bees and cute farms, and not monsters or spiders. But I've heard that there's a different princess on the server who is an expert in monsters. And she lives just on the other side of that mountain, luckily. So I think we ought to go pay her a visit. Oh, uh, I should probably take some honeycomb with me. Let's go see the princess. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous to meet another princess. She's royalty. That's kind of cool. Whoa, the landscape around here is crazy. <laughs> this is so different from Dawn. Oh, look at the houses. And she has a castle. No way. Hello? 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 Hi. Hi, I'm Jem. I'm, I'm a princess from Dawn. I'm Catherine. I'm a princess from Glimmer Grove, which is this place. <laughs> this place is awesome. You have a castle. You're like... Yeah, the coolest it's princess. It's it's recently built, not decorated on the inside, but the outside's kind of cool. It's epic. Why is it half dead? What do you mean? Well, it's it's you know it's half. I don't. Is there something wrong with it? No, no, nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. It's it's yeah, perfect. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Oh, okay. That's just you know I came to you actually because I need your help. I mm? have a honeycomb. In my Whoa. empire, and if I combine I don't have any of this with string, look, look, look we can make these. <gasps> these are candles. Oh, I love that. I want that. What yeah. do you, you need? String? Yeah, we need string. So I figure, since we're both princesses, and I have the honeycomb, mm -hmm. and you're really good with mm -hmm. monsters and string, then mm -hmm. if we combine mm -hmm. forces, we'd have lots of candles. <gasps> yes. Come this way. Okay. So this is my tailor shop. So besides, well, first of all. Mm -hmm. How do you know about monsters and me? Hmm? I didn't know this. Oh, uh, I have a friend. His name is uh, Mythical Sausage. He's oh, really cool. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, yeah. I heard about Okay, Well, this is a him. secret. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. He did say that it was a secret. Yeah. He did say okay, that. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Well, this is my tailor shop. So besides the monster slaying and stuff, I'm also a tailor. Whoa. And I sell leather, wool, and string. That's awesome. Look at this. You have so you can much. You take whatever you want out of that chest. Yeah, take it. Oh, okay, do you know, I have a barn in Dawn that has a ton of honeycomb. Ooh. So I'll give you some for oh. now, but if you need more, you can always visit. Thank you. And you can always come back and take whatever string you want. Aw, thanks. We're like a princess alliance You're welcome. now. <gasps> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's perfect. I feel like that went well. I made a lovely alliance. And now, the only problem is I keep having to direct everybody into my barn <laughs> and i feel like if i want this area down here to actually blossom into the beautiful bustling town center of dawn that it is it needs to have some shops and things you know not just random wandering traders going through it needs actual businesses before i can start work on the next building project i need a couple more materials like acacia wood while we're in the mindset of resource gathering i think we should build this building using this section dawn is that time of the day right before sunrise and sometimes at that time of day you get these purpley colors a lot of those purpley colors exist in here <laughs> so it's resource gathering time everyone now, none of what you're about to see is canon, but as soon as I entered the nether, I encountered an Ollie and Flip who were discussing the latest lore. I gathered some crimson wood while chatting to them, and then we noticed that Jimmy was in fact live streaming, so we went to bother him. This worked out in my favor though, because I do need terracotta, and I ended up being able to trade with him for some, or take some out of his chest and deliver some honeycomb later. That counts as a trade, right? 
Regardless though, this was a really fun and really weird hour of resource gathering where I didn't really gather that many resources, but I think we'll be fine anyways. Let's get back to Dawn. Now that I've got the supplies together, we've got to actually choose the location. And I'm thinking this spot right here would be perfect. Literally just nestled into this little hill. Only thing is this tree will probably have to go. Sorry, tree. I will eventually be building a bunch of custom trees around here, but I want to get all the buildings at first. Okay, so edge of the foundation, maybe like right here. Pretty much as close to it as I can get. We'll do five and then one. This one's gonna be a little smaller than the tavern because it's just a shop, but it'll still have room for an interior. The bees and the butterflies. Hi! He's drowning! Hi, Jim! What the heck? Hi! We just fought in this really big epic battle. Yeah. Uh, actually, about two weeks ago now, and we had a genius, genius yeah. idea. We had this um, idea two uh -huh. weeks ago. We know ago, you, but we forgot. you have bees and they like flowers, and we found this new flower and we wanted you yeah. to Whoa, have that. Whoa, ow! Don't, it hurts. Don't. They're uh, a little prickly. They're a little prickly, yeah. but we thought you might like it. Oh, uh, they're pretty. They're steamy. Yeah. I've never seen them like these. These are so cool. I know. Are they cool? Ow, ow, ow. They're very steamy. We oh, don't have that. these in Dawn. It's a nice little aroma. Oh. This will look yeah. great here. Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. Smell them, smell them, Jen. They're so cute. They smell kind of stinky. <sighs> yeah. In a good way. A little withery. Yeah. yeah. I like sulfur. Yeah. A little withery. Meh. Yeah. But it's okay. Bit. It just goes up times when you just get on, of... around it like this. Oh, so nice. <laughs> we had to fight cool. a very scary monster to get it. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, this we is a, great that you brought battle. it to me. I don't really fight scary monsters, so this is fantastic. I like it. We oh, thought it would be perfect for you here in Dawn. It yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. We have all kinds of flowers here. The bees love it. Oh, the bees will good, love good, this good, flower, good. too. They'll just absolutely love this one. Make sure they just don't get too close. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Just from okay. far yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. We'll show, we'll okay. show it to them. Yeah, we'll far, it. far away. Oh, okay. you're going to show it to them. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Bees, look. Yeah, it'll be fine. Look bees. what I've got. It's a flower. I think oh, they like they it. they love it. They love it. Oh, look at them. Oh, I, I think they like it. Don't feed it to them, though. Don't, don't. Oh, they want to be, they want to eat it. Oh. Okay, don't worry. I'll just put it. I'll put it in a pot right here. Oh, yeah, good idea, good idea. Oh, ah, perfect. Spot. There we go, look at it. Oh, yay. yay. Oh, help. How did this happen? I think uh, we just leave him. Yeah, help he'll me. be fine. He won't cause any problems. Yeah, help he me. is fine. Help fine. me. Totally fine. Help yeah, me, it's... please. This is very dark and he's... scary. Thing yeah, he's, he's fine. Help. I, uh, I don't know how to explain that. Candle shop's coming along great so far, though. I kind of like the size. I think this is a lovely little size. I'm actually going to use the portal, so that closer. Oh, uh, okay. How about we cut to a time lapse so that there can't be any more interruptions? Let's do it. Look at me go build a little candle shop. The candle that you're going to see me place on the top of this build right now is by the user mango underscore Minecraft on Reddit. I'll put a link to it down below. This little build area is coming together so well. Oh, I love it. I wasn't exactly sure how those kind of new colors were going to fit in since we've only really used the orange and sort of yellow scheme, but I think these pinks and purples work extremely well for a little bit of difference, but not too much. This makes me extremely happy. This is the vibe that I want throughout Dawn. Now we need to work a little bit on the interior, which, uh, yeah, it's a tiny, it's a tiny interior, but I like a tiny interior. You could do some really cute things with them. So let's just try and at least get a staircase going up here first. Um, oh yeah, I think we could actually do this. It'll curve right here. Oh, it's perfect. And then this will be the floor. And we'll just do a pillar up through here. Oh yes, yeah, it's all coming together. This is epic. Couple trap doors for a railing up here. I want that area down here to be like the shop, and then we'll have an area upstairs where it looks like you make the candles. So we'll have this sort of resemble a pot of wax, perhaps, and then just a couple candles lined up. Maybe we'll need some dyes and things. I feel like I can make this work. I think normally candles are sort of hung up to dry, so maybe we'll put a few hooks to kind of represent that, because I don't know how to actually make a Minecraft candle go upside down, to be honest. 
And then instead of covering up our beautiful ceiling, I'm just gonna have it be a little bit overgrown so that it matches the foresty vibe that's outside. I'm gonna craft some flower pots, not for flowers this time, but because I think they kind of look like candle holders. And I've also got some different colored candles so that we can mix these in with the lock. That way, people will know that they can get a lot of variety of colors. And we'll just put the rest of them in the chest here. Okay, it's different, but I really like the vibe of this. It kind of gives candle shop for sure, slash making area, and I think it works. I think anybody coming in here will be able to quickly grab some candles. They would know what this shop is from the outside. I love it. And I hope that you love it too. Dawn is really starting to come together, and I had so much fun making this episode. Right now, though, I've got to go catch a flight to Seattle, or I'm not going to make my plane. So I'm going to get this edited up and out to you. Definitely tell me what you think, because I will be reading all of your comments on my trip. And with that, I hope I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone!